Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 6 of Let's Build a Rustic Inn. Before getting into things, there is something that I need to discuss. This is actually the second time that I'm recording this part. The first time I recorded, I changed a whole bunch of things around in the back of the inn based on both suggestions that you guys left and things I thought would make it look better myself. And basically throughout the whole part, it was just me changing things and then not liking it, then trying to fix it, and then going back and forth a lot on things, and... I basically didn't get very far and throughout the whole part it was just it was just me struggling and I feel like that wouldn't be very fun for you guys to watch. And also after I stopped recording the part I was looking back at the footage I had recorded and looking at the beginning of it it just hit me that it what I had to begin with was the best looking thing like all the changes just didn't make it look as good. Um and I think it was one of those cases where things sound better like they look better in your head than they do when you actually get into the game and try things given the limitations of it. You know, because I thought, you know, all the suggestions that you guys left that I ended up trying, I thought, oh, those would look great. You know, they'd make the place look even better. And then I had some other ideas that I thought would make it look better. But then once I actually tried it out, it just didn't look how I pictured it and I couldn't get it how I pictured it. Um, so I'm just going to keep the layout in the back of the yard how it is. Um, after trying a whole bunch of different things, I just feel like that's what looks the best. I hope you guys understand that. I and I'll probably put a picture somewhere in the video of the changes that I made so you can see what I'm talking about. It just, I, no matter what I tried, I just couldn't get it to look as good as it did or better than it was in the beginning. Uh, but what this does mean is that it's very likely that I can finish the exterior in this part because I'm not going to be rearranging a whole bunch of things. So that's just going to save a ton of time. So that means that it is likely that in the next part we will be starting on the interior. Um, so after recording the next last part, or the part that I scrapped, I did save. So I had to basically just revert everything back to how it was with a few tweaks. So I did fix a few issues um, to save a little bit of time. So yeah, here we are. Um, a few things that I changed was that I uh, made the paint, the plant back... Ugh. I'm getting a little tongued out here. Um, I made the plants that were at the front end of the pool look a little bit better so they're a little bit more full now. I think that's an improvement. I also fixed the issues with the decks being uneven because it was pointed out by Kat and some other people that it just was driving them nuts, the uh, not being symmetrical thing. So I just made the stairs a little bit wider so that um, I didn't end up making something else unsymmetrical to make the deck symmetrical. So um, hopefully this looks a lot better and I also fixed the issue with the fence here not um, you know, coming as far forward as the other one. So I think that'll improve things through improve things a lot. And there were some concerns with this deck area being too big, but I did try in the episode that I scrapped. I did make it smaller and it just looked weird. It just didn't look quite as right. I also tried using rock border instead of this fencing, and that didn't look right either. It just ended up looking too busy and like too many rocks. So I think the wood fencing, given what's in the game, is the best way to go. And this will look better once I get tables on it. It'll help to fill it in a bit better. Oh, another thing that I did was I did add a trash can over here next to this bench. I thought that would make it look like it fit in a little bit better than the potted plant did. And I think that's about it as far as the tweaks that really need to be addressed. Oh, I also did bring the pole back one more tile and then made this fountain area a little bit smaller. Um, so that, uh, that did address the concerns that some of you had about the pool being too small. Hopefully... Um, also, it was brought to my attention that Sims cannot get married to Granite Falls, so instead of in a wedding arch, I'm going to be putting a picnic table in here, so, and possibly a grill if I can fit that, so I think this would be a really nice little picnic area, and I did move the gazebo over underneath the trees and then put a fire pit in here, and it just, I couldn't get it to look right. I think the gazebo looks much better at the end of the pool than a fire pit would. The fire pit just didn't make sense, and I feel like this also balance the yard, balances the yard out a lot better. Because you've got the, I guess you could say, unnatural landscaping towards the center of the lot. And then along the sides, it's more natural landscaping. It just makes things look a whole lot more balanced like this. It just looked really weird when I had the gazebo over here and a campfire here. It was a mess. Um, and it just it just didn't look as good. So I know this is blocking the view some. But it does mean that if Sims are sitting here eating in the picnic table that would be here, they get a beautiful view of the lake. So all in all, I think it's fine. Oh, I also added in the ladder and the lights and all that to the pool, um, but sorry about all that discussion. Um, I just um, really needed to get that out there before beginning on things in this part. Oh, I just realized that the plants, I had these plants in here and they some, for some reason vanished. Sometimes they do. 
Uh, so I just got to stick those back in. All right, that's all fixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the umbrella seating right here. Um, so that'll definitely help to fill in the space there. So what? actually I should, no, this is the outdoor seating section. I'm going to try this one because in the part that I scrapped, I tried the other one and it just, it didn't really look as good. I think this is a little bit, a uh, bit better of a table to use here. Um, so then we can go through the different colors, see what looks best. I do like the green striping. I think that goes in with the whole natural theme. Um, I mean, if we do go with blue, then that does break up the greens and such some. But I do like, I like the stripes. I think I like this color wood for the table best too. Um, is there a green with... There is a green. So we've got green as well. I think I I think I actually like the blue because there's already a lot of green around, so I think it'd be good to break that up and go with the blue color. So I think it's good to have a table here and here. And then we could do the same thing on the other side, and that does give a lot of space right next to the pool for perhaps some blankets that or rugs that look like beach towels. And just sims to get around. So I think this is Symmetrical. Maybe we want to push the one at the end a little bit farther forward. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then now we got to get the tables. Okay, so I'm going to go with this um, this chair here. And what color? Maybe white. Um, oh, I think this will look good. So we've got the blue to match the stripes. And then white so that everything's not completely brown. Because we've got enough brown going on here. So I think some white in the chairs would nicely break that up. Okay, so we've got that going on. I think that that is helping to fill this area out. And I do like to sometimes use, there's these, they're bath mat rugs, but I do like using those to look like beach towels. Because these just really look like they could be towels. So maybe we can have, we could have one just here right next to the water, like someone just left it there to sunbathe. Um, maybe right here would make a little bit more sense, like right near the right near the fountain. But then, uh, then again, up there makes things look a little bit less crowded. And I don't know if we want to have one on the other side. I'm, you know, it wouldn't make sense to have symmetrical towels. Uh, maybe over here we could have it clo a little bit closer to the fountain area. You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna leave it as a towel on just one side. I think that's fine. And I think that's enough as far as as far as far furniture goes on this deck, because I don't want there to be too much. So now I'm going to see if, now I'm going to put a picnic table right here and see if I could fit in a grill. Because um, I think that would be the best spot to put a grill in there. You know, you could have a grill and maybe have it so that while they grill they can look out the lake. So there was, um, not this one, there was a, this one right here. Um, so I want to put this one here that looks like you know, like some logs that were cut down, kind of like they just cut down some trees from the surrounding areas and use it to make a picnic table and the camera keeps wanting to bounce upwards. And what color do we want to go with? Do we want to go with something that blends in or something that stands out a little bit more? I kind of like this. Um, I do also like the second color here, but I feel like that blends in too much. I kind of like that this is a color that stands out slightly. And then there was this little decoration that came with outdoor treat that looks like ketchup and mustard. So I think that'd be really cute to put on the table as well. And then as far as outdoor lighting goes, I'm thinking a outdoorsy looking ceiling light. So um, this one right here just looks like it could be an outdoor one to me. So we'll stick that right in here and change that to, I think a black color would look best. Um, could do that. That actually, I actually like that color. Okay, so we'll stick with that and um, see if we can fit a grill in here. So I'm thinking we should go with a slightly nicer one that's smaller. There's not enough room for the big one. But can we fit it? I don't think we can fit it there and have them still be able to use it. Um, I think right here in this spot works. It's off center, but. Um, they should be able to get in there and grill and then still be able to come on, come in from the other stairs and get into the picnic table. So this should make, leave everything usable. 
And then this way, the grill's facing right out towards the lake, so they get some nice scenery as they grill. And then I do think a potted plant up here would look nice. So I'll use the same kind that I took out around the side of the place. So we've got that going on here. And I don't think we need anything over on the other side right here because we've got these rocks as decoration. There's not really as much around this side of the gazebo. Another cool suggestion was that Ryan suggested putting some rock chairs next to the trees over here. So kind of making them look like they're incorporated in these rocks. Um, I thought that would be pretty cool so we can just have them right here. So that's, this is another spot that they could sit in but it's not really obvious that it's a sitting spot. Um, so I'll just make them a slight bit darker so they blend in a little bit more. And they should still be able to use that chair maybe. Um, I, I don't think it's really going to be an issue. Because they can just, like, I'm surprised by what the Sims can use in this game when, you know, when you use move objects to combine games. Like, they can actually still use a lot of things that I'm surprised they can still use. Um, oh, and this one over here disappeared. Okay, good, that's back in there. And moving over to this side, Alex suggested that I replace the pine trees that are right here with the campfire so it's close to the lake. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this cluster of pine trees and plants over to this spot right here to fill this in. And then where this was have a campfire. And I think that would look nice because we can have a dirt path going from the stone path here over to it. So I think that would work really well and plus it helps to fill in this space right here. Um, so that is, I think that's actually a perfect, you know, perfect way to put in the campfire. Okay, so we just got to get that in and we'll put the tree stump right here. You know, I guess they could have cut it down because maybe it was growing a little bit too close to the fence or something like that. So I think this looks pretty nice. And let's get another one of these right here and a rock. And then this is another, like they can just sit on this table or not table. Um. <laughs> Sorry, like sometimes when I'm building, I'm so focused on it that I just things come out of my mouth completely wrong. Um, but they can just sit in that chair too, so that's a nice little, another nice little surprise sitting spot. So there's lots of really cozy spots around this place that Sims can just go and sit and read or whatever they want. And I think that a few more plants are needed, so I think we need another fern. I'm going to go with the larger one right here. So we're also bringing things in a little bit closer to where the pool is. Which I think looks nice. Um, actually, maybe it looks a little bit better before I put in those extra plants. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we might want to just go with smaller plants right here. So we'll stick another one of these in. And then drag this out a little bit. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, except maybe another patch of... Eh, maybe not. Maybe we'll just bring this in a little bit closer. Okay, I think that's fine. So now I'm just going to fix up the terrain paint. Um, I'm just going to race this and then redo it specifically for the fire pit. And then get the dirt terrain paint under here. Also got to make sure to turn the softness down a bit. And I'll probably, I'll probably put some plants in around the other side, like in the middle. Although I, I think that this could be adjusted a little bit more. Okay, so we'll get that back there. Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, so now we'll just get some of these to fill in here. And I think we could use another one there. And maybe some more flowers. And I think also another rock. Although now I feel like maybe we need another tree back here. No, that, that might be too cluttered. What if we tried another type of pine tree, like this one? Eh, I don't know about that. Uh, maybe, we can, maybe we just bring this one back more. Okay, I think that's I think that's fine. Okay, so now we just gotta fix up the terrain paint. And I think I had a little bit of the gravel terrain paint in here too. Okay, so I think that'll look a little bit better once I get the campfire in right here and fill in this space. 
so that was in outdoor activities and I'm just gonna go with the nicer looking actually maybe I don't want to go with the nicer looking one or though hmm you know I think that this one might look better since it you know the rocks around this tie in with the rocks around the gardens okay that can't be changed so I think right back here is good and then around it perhaps a mix of stone seeding and wood maybe I do like these chairs. I'm wondering if it'd be better just to go with all of one type. You know, I think the rock, the rock seating looks better. So I'll just put that all around and then change the color of it to be the darker one. All right, that looks good. And there were those, uh, those decorative items like pots and pans and such that came with outdoor retreat that I think it would look really good around the campfire just like someone left it here like what is this uh preserve food would this make sense to leave around here uh, I wish there was a like a marshmallow kit hot chocolate kit hmm did you make hot chocolate around a campfire you know what? I think that works better so we'll have this around here just like someone just left a hot chocolate kit around the fire like they just made it and then forgot to pick it up and what else I don't know, would this be too busy to leave? What about some pots and pans? You could definitely use that to cook some stuff around the fire. And I think that's good enough. I don't want to have too much stuff left out around it. So now I'm going to do the train paint around here. So we're just going to get the dirt train paint. And I probably will stick another plant in the corner here. And then I think right underneath the fire, I'll put this darker dirt train paint right here. Uh, let's get a little bit darker. Okay, so I think that's good. And do I want to have a stone path going here or just have it be dirt? I think maybe just dirt would be a little bit better. That just maybe a light dirt path. And then perhaps a little bit of gravel. Okay, yeah, I think I think that is fine. Uh, do we want to, maybe we want to scoot this down a little bit more. Maybe spread it out. Now that I think about it, I think it would look better if this was a bit closer to where the fire is. And now I, of course, have to redo the train paint under that. Um, you know what? Uh, now that I, sorry to make you all watch me rearrange that, now that I think about it, it might be better just to kind of redo the planting. Um, and I'll just I'll just cut this out because you guys have seen this you know I'm just redoing what I've done before but I just think we better redo the painting or the plants because I don't know when I move I just when I move plants over I feel like it just doesn't make them fit in quite as well as if you just place it based on I don't know if I'm making any sense right now but it's different when you just like move stuff over and then just stick it randomly than when you're looking at it and trying to place plants into fit with what's there um, hopefully what I'm make what I'm saying makes sense. Um, but basically I'm just gonna replace the plants to suit where the trees are now moved. I just got done redoing the plants right here and it doesn't really look that different, but I do think it looks a little bit better than it did before. I'm not gonna put any more plants in over here because I, I feel like it's not really necessary and I don't want to have too many plants in here. Um, so over here is where I'm going to put in the horseshoe pit. I think this would be a good spot. It's really the only spot left that I could put it in. So I'm going to, well, I'll put it down first and then pick out the color. So I'm just going to stick it right here and then have it rotated towards the path just so it's slightly off of this path right here going back. And then we can have it right in front of the tree. I think that would look pretty nice. And maybe I could get a few more shrubs in right here. Yeah, I think that could look pretty nice. Uh, maybe we can get, uh, maybe I'll just do a smaller one right here. So there we go. There we go. We got a little more plants in behind there. And as for the color, I do want to change that. So I do like this color right here. It blends in nicely. Um, this one also does, but I think I'm going to go with this more reddish color right here. So now we just got to get some dirt underneath of that. And then just bring it over to the stone path. And I'll just have it a little, a slight dirt path over to it. 
And then maybe a little bit of gravel on here, a little bit of the darker, I don't know, I'm just trying to big strength paint here. So I think it'd be a little bit darker right here because this is where Sims would stand and throw it. So um, they might, you know, the dirt might be kicked up a bit right there. Maybe a little bit towards here where the um, the horseshoes would land. And now I think about it, I don't really like that darker color added in. Actually, let me just go back a little bit before I did that. Um, and maybe before the, okay, yeah, I think it looked better before the gravel. So we'll just go back to this and then put in a little bit of the darker paint here, just uh, just kind of where the dirt may be marked up a bit more. Uh, so I think that looks good right there. I think that's good over here. I don't believe we need any more shrubs or anything because I just, I don't want to fill things in too much. I think this is fine how it is and um, it will look better without this white border. But over here, I'm wondering how it would look if we had another pine tree over here closer to this path. Is that... I don't know if that's too much. Let's get a look at it. Oh, that does look nice. Okay, so let's go without it. Oh, that actually looks nice, having those three pine trees there. And then right in the center here, you've got this little tree stump. I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll stick with that and um, I'll just stick some more plants underneath of it. So it is kind of filled in over here, but I mean the other side isn't as filled in, so I think that helps to balance it out some. Um, so let's get this. And uh, we'll get another one of these under here. Maybe another one of these shrubs. And perhaps a rock right near the path. And I think, yeah, some more of this. So now that I just thought about it, so maybe we could have another one of these stumps over here, kind of like this little, so maybe we could replace this rock right here with this tree stump. Kind of like maybe this little patch of trees went a little bit farther over towards where the campfire was, and then they just cut it down to make room for the campfire. Uh, maybe I don't want to have one there. But yeah, I'll just stick another one of those right there in place of where a rock was and get some more of these around it. Maybe some grass in there too. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to move on from that. So we've pretty much got the whole backyard of this place finished. Um, then we can get a little look around here close down. I think that that, that shot right there looks really nice. Yeah, I think, I think this is good. Um... Yeah, when I had the when I had the gazebo over to the side, it just it didn't look as majestic. I don't know if majestic's the right term, but it just it this this pool area just didn't have the same sort of look to it. it didn't have the same luxurious high end look that it has with the gazebo back here behind the rock fountain. Like this just looks. If I could get the camera to not hop up, this is annoying. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna keep it like this. But like this this looks nice. You know, like. I could just see this being, you know, no matter which side of the table you sit in, you've got a pretty nice look. Um, so I think that's really nice. And then going in here, um, I, I give up. It's just going to hop up there. Um, but anyway, yeah, I really like that. So now I'm going to move on to furnishing the decks, and I should be able to do that in this part. So um, that's good news. A good thing about scrapping that one part I recorded before. So right here, I don't think we need any more eating areas up on this deck. We've got enough of that down here already. We don't need anything more. But I'm thinking some chairs that they can sit in and look out. And perhaps some potted plants up here as well. I think that'd be nice. Um, there is this wheelbarrow. Where is it? This right here. I think would look really nice in this corner. Yeah, I think that looks really good right there. And then we can of course change the color. I think the green one's good just to break up the browns because you know, it'd, be, it'd be too many browns if we just left the brown one in there. And as far as chairs go, what about using using one of these? Kind of like someone... Actually, that might not be a good spot realistically because that would just get in the way of people walking down the stairs. So that's probably not the best spot for that. So perhaps it would be more up there, but we could try some different chairs than that. So perhaps I'll use that branch dining table or dining chair. Like I said, sometimes I just say the completely wrong thing when I'm building and talking at the same time. Um, chair. Well, we can put this chair right here out on the deck. Right here next to those flower boxes, so, you know, those aren't... It's not getting in the way of that. And then... 
as far as what color to use. Um, if we So if I go with this color, it blends in a little bit more, but I don't think we want it to blend in too much because we do want to break up some of these browns here. And then, oh, we need a cooler. I completely forgot to put in a cooler. You know what? Instead of this potted plant over here, I'm going to move this potted plant right here. And instead of having the potted plant over there, I'm going to put a cooler right here. Because I think that would make a whole lot of sense to have a cooler right here. Um, hopefully, uh, that might... Hopefully Sims can still get around. Maybe I could stick it over on this side so we know for sure Sims can still get around from here to this side of the table and get around from here to this side of the table. Um, and I, I can test that a bit once I finish things to see if putting it here allows them to still move around. Um, but that was... Let's go, with the, let's go with a more classic cooler. And I think a nice green color would look good. You know what? I actually don't like that as much there. So we'll stick it over here and stick the potted plant back over there. Um, you know what? Um, you know, maybe maybe this would actually look better on this side. Um, they might be able to get through. If I test it and they can't, it's just easy enough to just move the cooler over there. But I do think I do think the cooler looks a bit better right here. Maybe another color than you know what I think red looks good. We'll go with red. Or maybe blue. I kind of like the red more, so we'll just have a red cooler right there. Actually, let's try... You know what? This one might look better. So I think I actually will go with a fancier cooler. So we could maybe just keep it the blue color. And we could try red. I think I like the blue. I'm going to stick with the blue for that. Oh, I also forgot to put the... I forgot to put the railings back on the stairs here. So we definitely got to get that. And I think that's that's enough stuff right here. Maybe over on this side. I think right through these doors will be the um, the living room. I still haven't figured out exactly what arrangement I want in here, but I think that this would be a good spot for the common living type area because maybe you'd want to have some nice views from that. Um, so I was thinking I could put an art easel right out here so they can paint and then look out at the lake, you know, have some nice inspiration for when they paint. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Oh, I should... Sorry, I keep getting all these ideas as I'm doing this. Um, but maybe a guitar by the fire would be excellent. So we can put this guitar out here. Like someone left it. So, you know, if you have your Sims visit here or actually stay here, they have a handy guitar that they can just grab. So I'll, I'll leave it as... I like this color. So that works. You know what, I'll get rid of the pots and pans and then just replace that with a guitar. I think the guitar looks a bit better anyway. So we'll just leave that like that. And then moving back over here, getting that art easel I was just talking about. So, oh, actually I need to do that unlock core objects cheat because I do want to use one of those. What was it? It was bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. Entitlement? Entitle I think I spelled that wrong. I think that's right. Um, this is the most annoying cheat ever to get wrong because you type all that in. Oh good, that was right. Okay, you type all that in and then if you get it wrong you just have to redo it. That happens to me all the time. Where I just have one letter wrong because I got typed it so fast. And then I have to re-enter it, which, I mean, it's not really that much work, but still. It's kind of frustrating. So I really like this easel and perhaps we want this to blend in a little bit more. Maybe, maybe the lighter color or the darker color would be the way to go with this. I think the lighter color is good, because we do definitely want to break up the browns here some. And then perhaps a rug underneath of it. So we could just do maybe this rug right here, kind of like it's just there to clean up any splatters of paint. We could do that in a blue color. Just to once again stop things from being all brown. And I think right here would be a good spot for a potted plant. and. I do intend to finish, I think I'm just going to go for it and finish the exterior of this part, even if it means it's like a 45 minute one, um, because I know a lot of you are dying to just move on from this, so I might as well just get it all done in one part. Um, we also got this. What if we place this over here? Oh yeah, we can place this over here. Well, we can't actually stick water in that. Um, it still looks nice anyway. For some reason I was like, I was like, oh, I could put it over here like it's the pail they used to water those flowers, but it has flowers in it. So can't exactly be used for that, but still makes a nice decoration over here. 
And I think I like that light color right there. So that looks nice. And then I think this pot of plant over here looks nice. Um, I don't really, I don't really want to fill in the outdoor spaces too much. And then maybe one of these right here. Okay, let's see how that looks when we go all the way up. You know, I think maybe it would be better to just make this the dark. I, I don't really like that color. Um, so I think maybe just either going with... I think I'm going to go with this color right here. Okay, well, I think this is enough for this space right here. I don't want to overcrowd it, especially with everything that's out here. Um, I just want to keep things pretty simple. And then around here, I think... A gnome and a potted plant would be nice. Okay, so let's go to decorations, get a different kind of potted plant. So what works best? Maybe this. So we can add one of these in right here. And where are the gnomes? Yeah, we could add a bear gnome right here. I think that looks pretty cute. I wonder if it would be too much to add in one of the, one of the branch benches right around here underneath of that flower box. That might be a little bit too much. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that, but what I can do is also add in that unlocked chest table right in here, since we've got stuff down here, so I think this is fine. But then we could add in a chest table over here. So this one, that's unlocked from getting a gold medal on a weenie roast. So I'll stick it right here in front of this post, so that way the seats um, aren't blocked by any posts. And it's also nicely centered, so we'll just attach that. And then... Um, which... I think this... Yes, this is the matching color, and then I think another potted plant or some type of decoration like that right here is what we need. Okay, so... Which one haven't we used? Um, a cactus? I don't know about a cactus. There aren't very many outdoorsy type potted plants. I could go with this one. There's this one. So maybe we could size it up. I think that looks fine. Let's see. Let's get a look at that with everything raised up. So this is what we've got so far. I think this amount of decorations on the deck is fine. Um, it just, I, I don't want to make it too busy. That's the main thing. Okay, so I think that's fine. And then over here, I think that right back here, a bench would look really good. So I'll just grab this rather than going to find it in the menu. And then just have it right here and then make it match the colors that I've used on the chairs just to break up the dark brown some. I mean, it's still brown, but it's a lighter brown, so it's not blending in too much, I think. And perhaps, I think right here we want to use... A, what if we use this outside? No, I don't think we want to do that. Um, how about a tree trunk table? Is that is that a little bit too... That might be a little bit too overpowering. Um, but it's kind of cool. So I think... I don't think the colors really match. You know what? I'm not going to use that. I feel like that's a little bit too overpowering for the space. So I can use this coffee table right here and see if we can find a color that blends. So I think this, um, maybe I can get it. Or we could try this one right here. Hmm. Or we could just not have a cof uh, coffee table. Maybe that's not necessary. And then right here in that corner, we can have another one of these. I just feel like it makes more sense that an inn would have these kinds of chairs around rather than the fold-up ones. Like, I can see the fold-up ones more in a residential place, but not really here. And actually, maybe maybe the rock a rock table would look good in the corner right here. Yeah, I think that that could work right here in this corner rather than right up here. So we can do that and then put an oil lamp in. It does kind of tie in with that a bit and then I think an oil lamp would look really nice on it or at least one of the maybe one of the kerosene type lamps 
So we could go with, I think, either this or this. So this color works pretty well for that. So I think we can go for that. That's a nice little seating area right over here. And as far as right here, I don't know that we really need anything right in here. I think it's fine to leave that empty. And then perhaps just more, more potted plants around here and another gnome or something like that. So I'll just use, I used this one before, but I'll just use it again. And have it right here. And then what kinds of gnomes do we have? Oh, maybe I could use Stanley the Jackalope. You know, maybe it would work better just to use this bunny. I think this will look really nice. And then we can... We can go with this color. I feel like this is the color that works best. So now let's go all the way up onto the second floor. And then we still do have to furnish all of this up here. So this is what we've got going on on the decks. Um, like I said, I think that's about the amount of furniture that we want to have without things getting too crazy looking. But... It definitely does help to make it look more lived in and make it, you know, I think it also helps to break up the brown issue. Like, I feel like that issue's definitely improved a lot as furnishing has gone on. But now I'm just going to do all the top level decks and then after that I will be doing the exterior lighting and the ending, ending this part. Um, yeah, so the interior will be done after this part. So up here I'm just going to use the same chairs, uh, put them in front of the windows, kind of have them facing outwards like this. I think that would look really nice. And then out here, I think we need another another potted plant or decorative type item. Maybe rather than a deck than a potted plant, I can use. There were other kinds of the ceramic. Like I think there's a ceramic pig, like this bunny. Yeah, right here. So we can. Or actually, porcelain. I said porcelain, but. We can add this in right here. I think that would be cute. So we can just have this little guy. Um, if I could rotate him the way I want without him flipping out and going. So I'm just trying to get him just peeking through this. Kind of like getting his face towards it. Yeah, I think that looks really cute. So we can have his little face peeking through right there. And I think that looks I think that looks pretty cute. And then let's change the color of it to be the same yellowish type color. And then perhaps down here another... Another pot of plant. Um, once again, kind of limited on what I can use, so I'll just stick this in right here. Down on the... Up. Actually, maybe we don't need anything down there because that is a little bit small. So I think this is enough up here. Um, we don't want to fill in things too much. Although maybe we could do this up here. Okay, let's get a look at that with the roofs all the way up. Okay, I think that looks really nice up there, so... Moving along, I think I'm going to just do a similar seating area out here. I know it's kind of like what I did down below, but I think for a place like this, it may be realistic that they kind of have similar, similar furnishing between the different levels. Um, so people can go upstairs and just kind of have the same type of area out here. Okay, so I think we've got that all squared up. And uh, I really wish there was more of these plants in the, I guess, terracotta type pots. Um, so we could do this, but then I just, I don't really like the modern, I like the terracotta look. There is also this, but it's a little bit small. Maybe if we size it up, it'll look fine. Okay, I think this works. Um, there may be some other, if I look through it a little bit more, there may be some other ones that work for what I want. Or maybe we won't do that, and instead what we'll do is we'll take these chairs and have them right here just looking out. I think that'd be really nice looking. Okay, if I could rotate you properly. So we'll do that. And I think right here I will put... I will try putting an end table in between the two. So I think this one actually looked a little bit better. So we'll just group these closer to this. And then rather than having a light on it, I think we'll have some books on it, like... Some Sims came out here, read a little bit, left their books out here. I think that'll look really nice. So let's get a look at that. I think that looks... it looks a slight bit busy, but I also like that it kind of gives this... Um, you know, just like a eclectic in kind of a look like a... Not like a chain in, but you know, like a mom and pop own type place. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Um, so I'll add that plan in over there and maybe we can add in the Stanley the Jackalope. 
item right here. Okay, here it is. So we'll get him in right there. I think that'll look pretty cute. And then perhaps over here we could have another sitting area like this, just around this side, um, since we don't have stairs. So I think just lots of seating's nice, nice, especially since this is right off one of the rooms. Um, so you know, it'd be kind of nice, neat if you walked out of your room and then right in front of it you had this really nice little sitting area that you could just enjoy, and then also have some seating back here so they can go around that side and enjoy that. Maybe around here I'll have a table and chairs in case they want to bring their breakfast up here to eat and have a little bit more privacy than they would if they're down at the lower level. Um, so that might work. So then I think I'll get another another table like that. And maybe we can just size this down. Oops, I made it bigger. And put it right there instead of books. You know what? Actually, I don't like that one. Oh, what about this? This is the one that came with Outdoor Retreat. That could look... Actually, this... That's more of an interior type thing. Oh, what about... You know what? I just, I just won't put a plant there. I'm just gonna leave that one empty. Maybe Sims can leave something themselves right there. And then this one does look... Actually does look sort of like a terracotta plant. And then right here, I think some tables and chairs will work really well. So I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I think I'll use this one without the umbrella. I mean, we obviously don't need an umbrella out here. So I'll use this table, um, since it somewhat matches these chairs, and then just have these chairs around it. Oh, I don't think. Actually, let me check the dining tables and see if there's one that works a little bit better. Uh, maybe this. Actually, this one might work better. Possibly. Okay, so this... This actually may work a little bit better, so I think the coloring matches a little bit more. Okay, so we'll just use this one instead. There is this... There is this one, but I don't really like how this looks. We could also... There is this also. Um, sorry, just kind of going through things. Uh, this might actually work a little bit better for an outdoor setting. Okay, let's let's get these chairs on this. I mean, I guess it's fine that it doesn't completely match. Maybe they got the tables and chairs separately. Okay, so I think that we can work with this and have this out here. Uh, maybe we want to move it over this way slightly. I know it's not centered, but you also don't want to have the sim here staring at a pole rather than that view, um, realistically thinking. Uh, and perhaps there's a color with this that'll look a little bit better. So I think that looks a little... this one might look a little bit better, but then I don't really like the lighter color. Okay, let's go back to the other one. Yeah, I think I like that one more. It pops a little bit better. And then maybe a little plant in the middle of it. Perhaps this. I think that looks cute. And I think some yellow flowers on that. Looks pretty neat. And then I think right in this corner here we could use another plant. Okay, but we got that one down there. Okay, perhaps we haven't used this one on this side yet, so I think this looks fine. Actually, I'm just going to size it up. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Although, I don't know if sizing this up is going to delete columns or if they fix that yet, so I might actually have to size those back down. Um, but I think that what we've got here is actually looking pretty good. Yeah, I think that that looks... it's got a slightly messy? I don't know messy, but I, I think it kind of works for this place. And then out here on this deck, I want to do the same thing with the table and chairs, since this is another room. Uh, just so they can have their own private eating area, since I won't be putting tables and chairs in the actual room, so rather than, you know, having their own private private eating area inside, it's outside instead, which I think is pretty nice. 
And then we'll just get, maybe we'll get a different kind of a plant right here. So perhaps we can put this one on that table, but then keep it smaller. And I think that looks pretty nice. And then I feel like we need some other decorations on here, so I'm thinking rather than plants, we can just go with a gnome again. Uh, maybe we can just go with a regular gnome rather than the bear one. So we'll just stick this little guy out here. And I think that's enough. I don't think we really need to go with more plants up here. Okay, so I think that is actually it for the deck, the deck furnishing. So hopefully that helped to break up the issue of the dark browns. I know I kind of added more brown furniture in, but it is a lighter brown, which does add some variety. And then I also add a little bit more greenery to it. Hopefully that takes care of those issues. So now the last thing that I'm going to do in this part is take care of the nighttime lighting, which should finish up everything with the exterior. So I believe what I'm going to do is, I don't know if I want to go with hanging lighting or wall lighting. I kind of like the outdoor wall lighting more than trying to use hanging lights outside. But before deciding on that, I'm going to do the path lighting out here. So I think I like these lights because they fit in with the rustic theme a bit, so I'm just going to stick them here and there inside of the plants. We've got lighting right there. Um, I think around here is good. Actually, maybe we get another light in the path here and then another one here part of the way back. And then we've got the pool lighting there, but um, hmm, they, don't have, they don't have fence lighting anymore, which disappoints me. But maybe what I can do is use the move objects cheat and then just move this up as if it was fence lighting. So I think that's kind of a nice compromise for that issue right there. See, look, that looks like that was intended to be fence lighting, so I think that works pretty well. And then we'll just move this guy up as well. Yeah, you can't even tell that's not technically fence lighting, I think. Um, we'll get you up. So I'll just stick this on all the corners. And that will definitely nicely light up this. Okay, we'll just get that there. I don't think we need any lighting near the campfire. Maybe something near the horseshoe pit. But I mean, the campfire is fine because you've got enough, enough light coming onto it from this area over here. And then of course when you have the fire lit, that'll be extra lighting. Um, do we need do we need anything over here? Maybe I'll just put a little light right here. Just kind of hidden just for some extra brightness. I think that'll work. Because um, I don't like having these lights like right out where you can easily see them. I like them to be covered up some. Okay, so I think that's good as far as the lighting down on the ground goes. Um, oh, oh, I need something right here in front of this sign. Um, did it, did the plants disappear here? I swear I had more plants before. Okay, well, I'll just stick this right here. I'm pretty sure something disappeared. Okay, where? Right here. I'm just gonna grab this, and I think having it right in front of the sign will look good. Okay, it doesn't really block the sign, so... Everything there is nicely lit, and then once I get the wall lighting and everything up on this building itself, that'll help with things a lot. And then also, you know, when you've got the interior furnished, the lighting from that will come outdoors. So we can definitely get things very bright. Okay, so we'll do outdoor lighting. And then I'm going to use the wall lights that match with the outdoor lights. Actually, I kind of like this one more, so maybe this comes in a similar brown color. Okay, so that comes in black. I think I'm gonna go with the- I'm gonna go with the brown one. Okay, so I'll just stick that around here on either side of the door. It definitely fits in well with the whole rustic theme. So, whoa! Whoops, I zoomed out way too much. Okay, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe back here we'll just- we'll just stick it right here on either side of the door. I think that's enough for that corner there. And then... Back over here, we definitely want to get one there. I think that's enough for right there. So that is good for the second floor. Or first floor, actually. And that is, that is very well lit, so I think that's fine. And then back here, another one right there on that level. And then we need one right here, and then also right here. And then moving around here, the same thing. Alright, and, um, hmm, so back here perhaps we could just stick it, oh, maybe right here, um, then it's kind of hanging above there. 
I think that looks fine, having it right over the door. And scooch it up a little bit more. And did I get around? Did I get around to... Okay, no, I still have to get that deck back there. And then I believe that is it. Okay, yeah, that's um, I that's it for the nighttime lighting. So um, I'm going to be ending this part soon. But before I do, as usual, I'll show you what's done. I'll just show all around it at nighttime, so you can see everything with the lighting. Um, so here is the back. Definitely looks much better with everything furnished and all of that. Um, yeah, so we've got that, and then now let's move on to the day. Um, oh man, the roof! I said I was going to wait till. I said I was going to wait till I finished the exterior to pick the roof. But now I actually sort of like this roof. You guys can let me know what you think. Um, I can try a few other ones out now that this is done. So we've got this lighter gray color right here. Um, I think, you know, with everything done, I think I actually sort of like this roof. Um, or, you know, I think this roof actually looks really good. Um, I don't think going back to the green roof's a good idea. I just, I don't really... Yeah, we're not gonna... Well, actually, not to do it to the gazebo, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't really like the green roof with everything done. So, I'm leaning towards keeping this roof. You guys can let me know what you think, because, um, you know, maybe with everything done, it looks a bit less boring. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the part here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and bye! <laughs>